Hello guys, JS Games here. I'm gonna be reacting to something new in my channel for for one time. Like, even though I've been reacting to my friend Sam a lot, but there's some special video that I'm gonna react to. It's called "It's Just Good Manners." Now, I the video was pretty good because I uh, while I was reacting with my good friend Sam a few months ago, but unfortunately, it's been scrapped from her main channel. Due to personal reasons, which I will not get in full t detail about it. But yeah, I actually like the when she put the cat sound effects. One time we used to react to it months ago before it was scrapped. So I decided to do my own. The only difference is I'm not going to add like a cat sounds and stuff. So I'm just going to put out my reactions to, to have some good manners and stuff. Anyway, I'm going to get this started first. Yes, to the video. So check out the description below before you come to my channel. I'll be right that. I'm going to get started. Three, two, one, go. Is this your house? <laughs> <laughs> this is just the beginning of stuff. Uh, that's not how you pick up the phone, hey, not like that. Okay, this is just rude. Like, you just put the phone like that once I pray get the phone. Well, I do get this call sometimes, but, uh, but if you have, like, a family you want to talk to, it's not how you pick up the phone. Holy shit! Now they're just making a mess. Whoa! Does this look like your house? Hi, my name is Eddie Cat. Get it? Like etiquette. Easy to understand why I love manners. Today, I'm going to help you learn good everyday manners. Knowing the right manners will make you feel good about yourself. Oh, yeah. Help you win new friends and put you at ease in any situation. And they're fun to learn. Anyone can demonstrate courtesy and kindness for others. And that's the stuff manners... Okay, since this video is pretty old, you know, way back, for some reason, my right uh, head said, can I pick up the trap? track the sound but no no worries guys my headset's not broken but it it gets kind of wonky by time to time at least my my commentary my mic works and also my headset works you know the sound stuff there's a made of so in my left one you know works. how to make good but why test what other videos it does work eat in a fancy restaurant well I'll show you and here are the people who will be helping me This is the home of Jenny and Clay Smith. Last time they had friends over, it was a huge mess. A catastrophe, oh, yeah. if you know what I mean. Mud was tracked in, the place was destroyed. But Jenny and Clay have been practicing good manners since then, and now you're going to see how much fun good manners can be. They are really catchy. Oh, hi, Reed. Come on in. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Clay. Thanks for having me over. Come here, Mom. She's in the kitchen. Here we go. I know. I need a cup. I just need to get started. Mom, this is my friend Reed Thomas. Reed, this is my mom, Mrs. Smith. Hi, Reed. Nice to meet you. And this is our neighbor, Crystal Johnson. Hi, Reed. It's nice to meet you. Remember to always use first and last names when making introductions. And when you enter... Okay, so for the like first and last name, it's good to, but not everyone can to do last name most of the times. But it's good to use the first name, or you could just use the cold name one of you, if you're a YouTuber or Twitch. But it's, I don't know, there are times I don't always have to say my last name most, most of the times. Unless there's something, you know, going on. Produce two people. It helps to tell them a little bit about each other, like what grade they're in, and where they live, and what their hobbies are. Yeah, that's kind of true. Hey, another visitor. Let's see what happens next. Oh. Hi, hey, hey, hey. Hey. Mom, this is Kenan Ross. She's in my math class at school, and she lives over at Walker Street. Kanan, 
This is my mom, Mrs. Smith. Hi, Mrs. Smith, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you, Kanan? Did you notice that Clay didn't introduce his mom by her first and last name, but as Mrs. Smith? You should always use a title, such as Mr. or Mrs. when speaking to or about an adult. If yeah, there are times I can use Mr. or Mrs. one, one time there's like a teacher or stuff. Mrs. Smith wants to be called something else, she'll let you know. Also, the rule to follow is to introduce the younger people to the adults. What do you say we catalog what we've just learned? Always yeah, use it. first and last names. Nope, I had to disagree. Not always, just only sometimes. Be sure to use appropriate titles, such as Mr. or Mrs. when introducing adults. Sometimes, not all the and time. And tell the people you're introducing something about each other. Because it's just... You know, this is really true. Share something interesting, like... If you want to meet someone who has the same interest, that would be amazing. Just good manners. Now, let's talk about something everybody hates. Interruptions. Take a look at the... Oh, yeah. Don't you just hate when you get interrupted one time when it comes to recording and stuff? Recording things that you want to do, you know, on your own. Problems that come up next. Well, the PTA meeting is on Tuesday from what I've got down, and uh, so that Mom, might be a little bit of a... where's the video that um, I recorded yesterday? Um, it's on the bookshelf! I'm sorry. Um, so Tuesday is out. Miss Smith, but, would you let me borrow the phone uh, when you're finished? I can't hear you. Just a minute! Mom! Oh. Okay. This is just this is just wrong. You don't yell at someone one time someone's on the phone, but get interrupted. All I can say is do not yell one time yell when someone's on the phone and stuff because uh, yelling is just wrong. That's not good manners. Man, can she wail? Most of the time, you don't even realize you're doing it, but interruptions while using the telephone can be very annoying. Yeah, it, it's it does. It's manners to allow people to finish their conversations in peace. So, always remember, keep the TV, radio, and your voice down when you're near someone who is on the phone. Yeah, that's Make true. Make sure you have something really important to say before interrupting, or just wait until your parent oh, yeah. has finished the call. Of course, if it's a real emergency, Break in at any time. Oh, yeah. And speaking of the phone... There it depends what emergency is and stuff. If there's something that's not important, it's, there's no necessary to pick up the phone. But if it's like something really important, what's going on in the life and stuff, it's, it is necessary like, when it comes to emergency. There's another time when good manners are important. Watch what happens when Clay answers the phone. Uh Hello? Oh, hello. Hello? <laughs> okay. First of all, when you pick up the phone, you don't you don't leave the phone just like that. I know it's just kids, but this is just wrong, but you don't leave the phone when someone pick You know what? Or just don't pick up at all, you know, like when it comes to scammers and stuff, like, you know, I keep getting a lot of scammers on my phone easily, but I usually don't pick up. I just go ahead and just ignore or decline the calls. Now, what if that call had been important? It's really rude to treat any caller that way. Exactly! This time, let's check out Clay doing it the right way. Hello, Smith Residence. Is Jenny there? Just a minute, Susie, and I'll get her. Thank you. Jenny, Susie's on the phone. Thanks. Susie? Hey, Jenny, it's Susie. What do you want to do today? Good job. Now, now, that, that's good manners. Quick. He did the right thing by answering the phone as his parents wanted answered. But look out, Jenny is about to get another call. Oh, that would be fun, Susie. Wait, hold on just a second, I'm getting another call. Hello? Hi, Jenny, it's Carol. Hi, Carol. Yeah, it's been a long time since I got, like, multiple calls on my phone. Like, you see, back then in the 1990s, including in the 1900s, there were no cell phones that time. Cell phones didn't exist till like in two thousands. There was just regular phone tel telephone way back in nineteen hundreds. Like good, good old times and then good old past. I miss the nineteen hundreds. You know, I wasn't born until like nineteen eighty nine. 
I'm sorry, I'm on the phone with Susie. Can I call you back in a few minutes? Okay. Jenny did the right thing. If you're on a call, don't leave that person waiting while you take another call. Here are some things to remember when using the... Yeah, I think this happens to me, you know. That was years ago, that like, when someone put me on hold for so long, and then there are times I get hanged up for no reason. The telephone. Always answer the way your parents ask you to. Never yep. yell. Cover the mouthpiece if you need to call someone to the phone. If call waiting interrupts, don't leave the first caller for long. Take a number and phone them later. Sometimes you could call back later, but there are times some people forget to call me back, which is kind of, you know, a bummer stuff. But there are times I could call back later, there are times I don't, I don't know. I don't really use, call people as much as I used to because I usually do do like you know, social media stuff rather than just call on the phones. You know, instead of like calling, I prefer texting more than, than calling on the phones for nowadays. After all, it's just good manners. Hey, yeah. it's time for Etiquette TV! Oh. Named after me. Look, here's the furniture channel. Okay. You know what? I'm not going to answer that. Hey, Clay! Good manners means not putting your feet on furniture, even in your own house. Whoa, feet! Don't even think about going in the house with muddy shoes on. If okay, now this is this is a good one. So when you get in the house, just make sure to clean the shoes and or put it the, the, the when you hold the shoes and stuff like at the helter, helter or stuff. Yeah, never go in the house with the muddy shoes. Like that's otherwise it would be bad manners. If you need to take your shoes off before you go inside. That's true. Last week, Kanan let Crystal borrow her favorite shirt. And today, Crystal is returning it. And the shirt is a mess. <laughs> Always. I don't know. I used to borrow one of, like, video games and stuff. But I don't really borrow something as much as I used to anymore. Because I usually buy my own games. I know it's not, like, related to this. Related to this, but I'm just saying, if you want to borrow something... Well, it's a good thing is I switched to digital than physical because, you know, I don't let anyone borrow my games. It's not that... It sounds like I'm being greedy, but... I had just have to be careful when it comes to video games because, uh... I, I lost my Super Mario Odyssey case. And I had to put it in one of my physical cases. But good thing I switched to digital, like, a uh, year and a half ago. Um, when it comes to Switch games. Please return things you borrow. Books, CDs, clothes, anything in the same or better shape as when you received them. Reed Thomas, hungry neighbor in search of a snack. He spots the cookies Mrs. Smith made for the community bake sale tomorrow. He knows they're not for him, but he only wants one or two. Hey, Reed! Don't you see that label? Never just help yourself at a friend or neighbor's home. Okay, this is just Drew. Like, if it's if it's something that's for sale, you don't take someone's stuff without asking. If you have permission in something, then yeah, you can you can have the cookies and stuff. But if you take something without asking, yeah, you end up getting in trouble, or you just have to buy buy them a new food and something. Boy, I've had enough TV for now. Let's review what we just saw. Keep your feet off the sofa, chair, and coffee table. Always check your shoes for mud or dirt before yeah, you enter Yeah, it's good to check the shoes. Return borrowed items on time and in the same or better shape as when you borrowed them. If you're hungry... I will go for two, three, four, but the first one, I don't know. I don't know about that, so I'm going to have to ignore that one. Hungry or thirsty, ask permission before you help yourself. After all, it's just good manners. When I get an invitation that says RSVP, what does that mean? A. It's a really silly vampire party. B. They're serving Russian sausage that's very plump. C. Responde si vous plaît. The correct answer is C. See? Respond as he would play as French and means respond if you please. 
it's good manners to let the host or hostess know immediately if you can attend. That's the reason many invitations request a reply. Never ignore the RSVP and show up anyway. Try to respond within 48 hours. Okay, this is actually pretty, pretty true. I don't know. I, I never done RSVP, but if I had to do something like that, yeah, yeah, I had to do it as soon as possible. Wow, seeing those cookies really made me hungry. I guess it's about time for a bite to eat. Maybe some French fries and ketchup. Remember these guys from earlier? Who would want to eat with them? I gave them a quick lesson in table manners and watch them now. Jenny has learned that sitting up straight and not slouching looks and feels better. Oh, okay. Reed is still enjoying the pizza, but now he looks more like a person instead of a vacuum cleaner. And he chews with his mouth closed. Crystal no longer wears a bib. She's learned to put the napkin in her lap. And remember to leave your napkin in your chair if you have to excuse yourself during the meal. Clay has finished eating and is Okay, I never done napkins on, you know, on the bottom because, uh, you know, what, what the guy says, like... Well, if it does want to make a mess, I guess I could put that, like, put paper towels up. Because there are times I done make a mess one time I was eating. ...has learned to clean up after himself, not relying on his parents to do it for him. That's good. Who do you think wrote one of the first books on manners and etiquette? A. Your Aunt Marge, who is always kissing you on the cheek. B. Your Uncle Ralph, who loosens his belt after every Thanksgiving meal. C. Our first president, George Washington. Uh... The correct answer is... C. Again? George Washington wrote a book on etiquette and manners in 1747 at the age of 15. It's called Rules of Civility and Decent really Behavior gonna, in Company and Conversation and includes 110 rules our president to be like to live by. Check your library to see if they have a copy of it on hand. Good manners are always in style. They impress your parents and help you build self-confidence, especially good table manners. I don't know about you guys, but I used to be confused by the table settings I'd see in fancy restaurants. Like, why do I need two forks? Well, let's see if Jenny can sort it all out. Thanks, Mr. Cat. If you just remember a few rules, you'll never be confused by an unfamiliar table setting again. It's easy. Informal settings usually include the salad plate, oh, yeah. the salad fork, the dinner fork, and the dinner knife. The water or drink glass is always to your right, and the bread plate is always on the left, above the forks. A dessert fork and spoon may be above the plate when the meal begins, but usually they are brought to the table with the dessert. When the meal is served, remember to start with the utensils farthest away and move toward the dinner plate with each course. Okay. As Mr. Cat would say, it's just good manners. Let's say you're at home watching TV tomorrow and an adult friend comes by to see your parent. How do you greet the visitor? A. Continue watching TV and wave in the general direction of the door. B. Yell, Someone's at the door! Nope! C. I gotta disagree. Go to the door, see who it is, and offer a friendly greeting like, Hi, Mr. Hamilton. Be polite until your parent arrives. Then go back to what you were doing. R is, it has to be C. The correct answer is C. It's all about the C's! 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 Always make the visitor feel welcome. It's just good manners. Oh, yeah. Speaking of thank yous, I'd promised Kanan I'd go over the rules for writing a great thank you note. You should always write a thank you note as soon as possible after receiving a gift. Okay, there is good times you can write thank you rolls, but it's not good to do it, like, all the time. But I would really appreciate if someone write me a thank you note, like, because I get those from the past years. Whether it's for your birthday or another occasion. Also, after oh, yeah. you spend the night at a friend's house, you should write a note thanking the hostess, your friend's mom, for having you as her house guest. All right, let's... Or better yet, make a thank you video. Rather than thank you uh, notes. 
To write a terrific thank you note, first, be sure to name the gift. Always mention how you'll use and enjoy the gift. And let Well, when it comes to gifts, there are times it's good to surprise something, and sometimes you can just name the gift, but... You know, there are times there's good surprises, there are times there are bad surprises and stuff. Let the person know you appreciate his thinking of you. Hey, Kanan, did those rules help? Oh, yeah. Yes, Mr. Cat. I just finished a note to my uncle following all your rules. This is what I wrote. Dear Uncle Raymond, thank you so much for the pretty blue sweater. It looks great with my favorite plaid skirt. Yeah, it's cursive I can't for wait writing. to wear it when we come up to see you later this year. Thank you again for thinking of me on my birthday. Love, Kanan. Boy, Kanan, I think you wrote a great thank you note. Thank you notes are easy. They only take a few minutes, and they always make a good impression. And it's just good manners. When your parent asks you to take out the garbage, you should... A. Complain about how hard you work around the house for a meager allowance. B. Mention that you took it out twice last year. C. Take out the garbage. Uh, it's gonna be a nurse, C. The correct answer is... C. Doing your chores without a fuss is one way to prove how mature you are. Being responsible is more than good manners. Yes. It's a quality everyone appreciates and admires. Learning to do your work now will make you a better student, a yeah. better employee, and later, a better boss. And who knows? It might get you a raise in your allowance. Okay, so, yeah, I have to agree, because when I'm aware of the trash is full, I take out the trash all the time, because it's like, we're, who wants to leave the house where the, where, where the trash is full, because garbage is just disgusting. So, yeah, I always take out the trash all the time, every time the trash is full. Why should you care about good manners? It shows respect and consideration for others. And or it shows the people who trust you, but... Everyone's different stuff like the more you do something good the more people will like you And it's an example of your level of maturity Like oh, when yeah. you learn to make introductions the right way it puts everyone at ease Remember to use first and last names and introduce the younger person to the adult Mention something about the people you introduce and always try not to interrupt anyone during a conversation Answer the phone courteously and don't keep callers on hold if you have call waiting. Respect other people's property. Keep your feet off furniture. Return borrowed items in good shape and obviously keep muddy shoes out of the house. And you'll always be a welcome guest. If you visit a friend and get hungry or thirsty, ask permission before you raid the cabinet for a s- Yeah, that's- that's true. Snack. Remember, Knowing good table manners builds self-confidence. Follow the rules we discussed and you'll always be comfortable. At your house, a friend's home, or the fanciest restaurant. Finally, when writing thank you notes, keep in mind that the people who receive them will think you're the greatest person in the world. I know by now you're catching on, but if you're still asking yourself why these things are so important, here's why. It's just good manners. And now let's answer a few questions from our mailbag. Dear Mr. Eddie Cat, my dad got mad at me yesterday for being late to meet him at the mall. Why should it matter if I'm a little late if I was having a good time? Being on time is very important. When you didn't show up on time, your dad had no idea why. He didn't know if you were just running late or if something serious had happened to you. Oh. Let's say, for example, if you want to take an airplane trip, you have to be airplane on time. But if you're late, then you can miss the flight if you want to go visit someone. That's just for example. Always be on time. But if you're going to be more than five or ten minutes late, call ahead or send a message that you're running late. Okay, I had to disagree with that one because I can wait longer than ten minutes, you know. When people are late and stuff, it is what it is. But uh, if it's like two, three hours late, I cannot accept that long. But if... If it's like 30 minutes or an hour is good, but if it's more than three hours, then that's way too long to wait this long. It's just good manners. Dear Mr. Eddie Cat, when I meet a new classmate at school, what am I supposed to say to them? To begin with, ask where your new classmate is from, what their favorite subjects are, and what they like to do after school. You can ask about their family, their pets, where they live, 
their favorite foods, anything. Just saying something is very important to the new kid on the block. If you've ever been the new person before, you know how nice it is when someone talks with you. Dear Mr. Eddie Cat, I understand that I should use good manners at school and in public, but why do my parents expect me to use good manners at home? It makes just as much sense to use good manners at home. Why not show your family the respect oh, you would yeah. show a friend, teacher, or stranger? Dear Mr. Eddie Cat, my mom says I shouldn't wear a hat at the table or in a restaurant. Is she right? Okay, that I had to disagree this one because there are times I wear a hat once I was I was eating at the restaurant because there are times I had to, I remove the hat. There are times I don't. But it's good to wear a hat if you want if you want to cover cover like for example. What if my I was bald? Yeah, I want to wear a hat because, you know, I just love wearing hats. Never wear a hat at the table. Hats should be worn outdoors to keep your head warm. Here are some nope, other I things disagree. to remember while at a restaurant. Don't put your stuff on the table during a meal. If you have packages or books or a jacket, put it on the floor beside you or in an empty seat or coat rack, not on the table. Okay, that's about it. Yeah, I actually enjoyed that good manners video. It's just good manners video, but there are some things is good. There are some things I had to disagree because not everything I could just follow and stuff. I actually enjoyed this video. Uh, yeah, even though it's very old, but even though like you know my right side doesn't like pick up the sound, but my left side does. But it doesn't happen to you know with a now now video. It's because my headset's actually pretty good. My mic is good and also. The sounds is pretty good. It's not my headset, it's the video itself. But overall, this is actually a good video. This is JS Games. I'll see you guys later.